Hey guys, it's been so long. I can't believe it's been like two weeks since I put a video up, but I did take a little break. A lot has been going on. We got a new puppy. Andrew and I went on a anniversary little getaway to Disney World, and I've been trying to transition my um, home decor over to the fall stuff. So today I am doing a collaboration with a bunch of YouTubers who I absolutely adore. I love all of them, and when they asked me to be a part of this. I was very excited. Emily from Mama From Scratch put this together and asked us if we all wanted to do a um, fall home decor tour collaboration. And of course, you guys know I love fall. I love decorating. I love fall decorating and I was all, all about it. Link everyone down below who is participating in this collaboration. You guys should go check them out because they're some of my personal favorites. And in this video, I'm just going to show you some areas of my kitchen, um, my living room, and my dining room. Now, I know last year, or every year actually, I get a lot of flack for decorating early for Halloween. But, you guys, I told you before, I don't really decorate strictly for fall. It's mostly Halloween. So, when they asked me to do this collab, I was very excited, but also a little worried that I would be like so early my dog is chewing something so early with my Halloween decorating people would be thinking I'm crazy well we already know that that I'm crazy so I think I'm probably the only one in this collab that's doing mostly Halloween but that's okay this gives you a little um, inspiration hopefully on getting a jump start when it's time for you to decorate for Halloween now just because I'm decorating for Halloween doesn't mean you have to right now these other um, YouTubers are going to have some amazing fall decor, um, you know, just regular fall decor. But if you're into Halloween, then um, I'm your girl. So I did um, keep my dining room decor like neutral fall just for the people who are not interested in seeing a bunch of Halloween stuff already. Um, but eventually it will change over to Halloween as I get a little bit closer. So enough bottling. Um, one other side note, I know it's only early September um, and I say this all the time. If you're not into Halloween, I'm sorry. I know my stuff is out early and that's okay. It's just a personal preference. I know everyone is different and this will hopefully just um, give you some inspiration for when you are ready to decorate. I just want to apologize for the lighting. It is kind of getting later and I wanted to film this before the sun completely set, <clears throat> but I have been so busy lately that I haven't been able to be home during the day to film this. So I'm going to start you with my mantle. My mantle is a little bit crazy. Yes, it is, um, but it's fun. And I kind of was inspired by my favorite movie franchise of all time, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. And I just got the flag from Disney World <clears throat> when you get off the ride there's like a store and I've been wanting the flag for the longest time and I wanted to hang it outside but I didn't want my neighbors to think I was crazy so <laughs> I just kind of draped it over the mirror in my living room I don't know like as I get closer to Halloween I might hang it outside I'm not sure yet but for now it's on my mantle and the whole mantle theme is kind of like piratey so we're gonna start on the right side I have, um, and if I remember where I got everything, some of the stuff, well, most of the stuff is from last year or so, or years before. Um, like these lights, I have no idea where I got these, but I'm sure I showed them in a haul last year. Probably Home Goods. So they're just little skeleton lights, and they're battery operated. And this little skull, I think I got at the Dollar Tree last year. The potion bottles I bought off of someone who made them. And then I just have these sticks. I thrifted them last year or the year before. Um, the skull is from... I don't remember. The bird is from the Dollar Tree last year, but I know they have them again this year. And then I have another bird down here, just sitting on an old book. And then these candles, I said it last year, they're awesome. They're from the Dollar Tree and they give off really cool light. Like they flicker and they're really cool. The hands are actually tongs, and I got those from the Dollar Tree, and they're actually really good quality. I was surprised. And then I just have a little velvet pumpkin. I got that last year. A little skeleton hand, and this old clock. Um, if you saw my, one of the days I was at work, I bought this where I work. 
And then I just put this creepy cloth hanging over it. That's on an old book. And then I cut these off of um, an old pirate costume that Madison had that doesn't fit her anymore. So it's kind of just like pirate, um, pirate money. And then I have my little skeleton. He's awesome. I think I got him at Target last year. It's a boo sign my friend made me. And then inside this cloche, that is a cement pumpkin. I got that where I work. I know a lot of this stuff you're not gonna be able to get because I got it where I work and it's kind of like a consignment dealer shop, like I said. I'm sorry. And then another bird, and then I put a bird on top. And then the cloth, just more creepy cloth. So I will back up and show you. So this is my mantle so far for Halloween 2017. Um, you guys know I like to change a lot of things. Um, I don't know if I've finished with it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this, but I am obsessed with pirates. Anything pirates, I wanna be a pirate. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know, what a perfect ode to my favorite um, kind of fantasy of being a pirate. So that is my mantle so far. Yes, Halloween. Yes, it's September, early September. But like I said, I wanted to film this video and get it up for you guys. And I was very excited to be a part of this collaboration. So I didn't really want to go out and buy a bunch of fall stuff that I know I wasn't going to use um, for very long because I know myself. I know if I put out a bunch of just pumpkins, I will take them down and put up my Halloween. It's just how I am. Um, so here is my mantle. And over here on my TV stand, you guys saw this last year. It is just um, these little pumpkins that say beware. Now you'll notice that a lot of my um, Halloween decor is black, white, gray, um, not much orange at all. So those I got at Home Goods or Marshalls last year, TJ Maxx, one of those stores. In the corner, I just put out my two pillows that I got at the dollar spot last year, um, the Target dollar spot. These were my favorite ones that they had, and I'm hoping they come out with some new ones this year. I like the, you know, I don't like or the orange pillows or whatever. I like, you know, grays and blacks. Um, it just fits in with my decor better. So I just put those pillows over there. And then this sad little table, I am not done yet done with yet but I thought I would show you the ghost if you guys remember I thrifted this and um, I've been looking for it everywhere because I had seen another youtuber who had it and I absolutely loved it so I finally found one at Savers and the lonely ghost sits here on this sad table for now because I'm not done with this area okay so we're moving on to the other side of my living room these are the shelves that I put up um, a few months back when my husband put them up and of course I put my shelves up with not regular home decor in mind but seasonal <laughs> home decor I get so excited when I can decorate new spaces so I will start on the bottom shelf um, this is the shelving by my front door you guys remember the layout I put some of that creepy cloth on my old chicken feeder and then I just grouped up some pumpkins on either side of these creepy pictures. Now, if you remember, I had four vintage clipboards and I just took one away and um, put up our spooky pictures that we got from Disney World. Uh, we got these last year, I think. So if you move, they change. Pretty cool. And then the top shelf, I just have an old book, a basket with a bunch of skeleton bones. Um, that little skeleton hand is holding the pumpkin. That was from the dollar spot last year. The tree was also from the dollar spot last year. But I know they have them again this year. I saw them. Inside the cloche, I have some eyeballs. The eyeballs are from the Dollar Tree. And then my felt um, board is from Walmart. And it just says boo. Obviously. Um, more creepy cloth. Another one of those awesome candles from the Dollar Tree. That crow is amazing. I love it. It's huge. And I got that actually from someone I know, so I don't know where she got it. And I have an empty jug up there and then some white candles I just thought fit the whole area. Kind of spooky looking. And then um, to the left, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy. I just have this hanging basket, more cloth. And then I have this sign last year from Target. I loved it. It's, it, it can hang up. It has a chain string, but I just have it sitting in here. And this looks cute at night with the little flickering 
um, candle. My husband comes home, he's like, just shakes his head. <laughs> but he's awesome, he doesn't care what I do or when I do it. Okay, so this is the wall. Um, so the shelves are over there. This is the little wall um, above my pew, my church pew. And I left this neutral just so that when you're walking in, you can see um, kind of nothing too crazy in your face. So I put these little bottoms of a terracotta pot um, like that catch the water. I have two of those, so I put them with a little white ceramic pumpkin that I got at the Target I was about last year. I wish they would come out with those again. I hope they do. I absolutely love them. I should have got so many more. And then I have a little one right here. Just some old books. And then this clay pot I got from Hobby Lobby. And this like straw stuff I got at the Dollar Tree, and then that pumpkin is from the Dollar Spot, the Target Dollar Spot this year. The little cloth pumpkins are so adorable. I did pick up a few of them, um, but this is the only one I have out right now. It's just the cream colored one. And I just stuck a little lamb's ear in there. And then in this little basket, I have um, book pages from an old book that I just ripped out. And I have my little postcard thing that says boo. And then I changed out my um, boxwood wreath, my real little boxwood wreath that was there for summer. I put my little cotton wreath there because I think it just matches better. So if you're walking into this room, you can kind of see spooky, not spooky. <laughs> Over on this little side table, I just have a little pumpkin souffle candle burning. This is from last year. And honestly, I think it's like too old. It doesn't smell like anything. So I guess it's just for ambiance. So now we're in my dining room. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the kitchen. My daughter's out there. Like I said, I can't avoid anyone while I'm trying to do this. Um, so I did move a few things around in my dining room. You will notice that this whole unit is over here now. And I just put my cutting board collection behind it and then up there I just put my gather sign which I do want to spray paint black and keeping it real you can see all the holes in the wall I have to patch so many holes <laughs> um, I did want to show you this candle though my mother got me this for Mother's Day and look at my nails they're chipped oh real life um, she got me this candle like inky candle and it has a picture of Madison on it so I'm just using up the rest of that so that's just what I have over here nothing too overly fall this um, colored glass vase. I love that tinted blue glass, greenish blue. That is from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They're the same thing. And then I just have some picks sticking out of there. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you my table. So this is my table. It's something that I have never done before. I said in a video a long time ago that I'm not the kind of person that sets up a tablescape and never uses it, but I really wanted to do something different with the table this year. And like I said, this isn't Halloweened out yet. I wanted to keep some neutral parts of my house so you guys could get, um, you could kind of pick and choose on, you know, what you would pull inspiration from if you're inspired at all. So I will show you each play setting. So the two um, end play settings don't have any placemats, which was on purpose because these square ones that I bought, it didn't fit correctly right here. It was sticking off the edge of the table, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do four, and hopefully it looks fine, which it does. So these white plates underneath, those are from the Dollar Tree. So they were a dollar each, so you can do this really inexpensively. The napkins came in a set of two from the Target Dollar Spot this year. So they were two for three dollars, and there's this blue plaid. Um, and then I have some radon plates. I have these I already had. I've had these for a while, um, and they all say different things. I think I have blessed, let's eat and nibble on this um, on this table. I think that's it. There might be another one, but um, so yeah. And then I just have on the ends, I have two gray pumpkins. Um, I will tell you why in one minute. Good mix, Lilacs. Yes. So on the ends I have two gray pumpkins, and then I had um, some magnolia um, picks that I got from a friend. So I just took down, I just took off one leaf, um, and I just stuck it right under the plate. And I think it looks so 
classy and, and you know, just nice for fall, not too overly done. Um, and then I kind of liked how my, um, my nails are so chipped. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I liked how my runner kind of coincided with the um, napkins. So what I did was I put this linen tablecloth that I had, I already had it, and then I just put the, um, the runner over it, kind of giving it more texture. So then the other four um, settings, these are from, hmm, I have no idea where these are from. I want to say Home Goods. I get everything in Home Goods, but I'm not 100% positive. So everything else is pretty much the same except the pumpkin. Now these pumpkins right here are from the Dollar Tree. And the reason why only four of the plates have these is because they only had four of this color. They had like an orangey one. I think they had a green one. But I wanted the burlap-y one, and they only had four, so I had to kind of compromise and use um, gray ones on the ends. But I will show you how that kind of ties in within, ties in with it all. So I have um, the same on the ends that way, and then in the middle I have my vintage dough bowl that I got at Brimfield, and I just stuck it with a bunch of picks, lamb's ear, cotton, and I stuffed it with a bunch of like. Um, pumpkins that I had. A lot of them are from Target last year. Some of them are from where I work. Um, so I just, there was no rhyme or reason to this. I started with the picks. I stuck them all in. And then I had kind of these um, branches. I stuck those in. And then I, you know, put the two biggest pumpkins in the middle and then I kind of worked my way out. So I think it matches really well with the table. I think I love all of this. I am going to have a hard time taking this all down. For Halloween but I know myself and I'll probably want to fill this dough bowl with skulls <laughs> let's be honest but for now I'm really enjoying the way this looks even my husband come came home and he's like oh wow that looks nice but um yeah so that is my table and then just over in the corner is my hutch is normal and I have the boxwood wreath I put it over there just hanging this wreath I got I think I got this last year it's if it get close enough you could see the little pumpkins um, this is from, I bought it from a lady at work, but I'm pretty sure she got it at Home Goods last year. So I'm 100% I'm positive that they have similar items like this at Home Goods. And I need to replace the string because it's green. <laughs> so yeah, I just have that hanging on my old door. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this dresser that I got. Um, I'm selling my other one. It's amazing. It's so awesome. The color of the wood is beautiful. The knobs are gorgeous. I love the keyholes. I love everything about it. And I think it fits really well with the decor in this room. So I have some of my ironstone and then more little pictures. And then this is how the gray pumpkins on the table kind of tie into the room. I just put the rest of them um, just kind of staggered. I didn't want to fill this thing up because I think it looks too cluttered. Um, but on the top I just have some old terracotta pots still. I really think that you can use these for fall if you use them, you know, you can use them whenever, whenever you want. There's no rules. That's the best part of decorating is there's no rules. So I left them out, um, for a little while and I think it looks really nice. So that is that little side. I want to show you this little tea towel that I have hanging on this little rack. I say little lot. Um, it's a skeleton. So yay. And then I have a cowl about it. Makes no sense whatsoever, but I think it's cute. Here, I just have this little graveyard cloche I put together. You can't really see because I have my thing on. Um, this is just going to sit on the counter. It's really cute. And then this is a little tree spooky thing that Madison made a few years ago. But I think it's so adorable. I kept it. And then let me show you. I have a clip of this at night so you can see, but I put some purple lights in there and I got those at the Dollar Tree. They're battery operated. And then all of those tombstones I got at the Dollar Tree last year. On my counter, I don't have anything spectacular, just a bunch of holes in the wall <laughs> that I got a patch. But I put this little pumpkin there. It's from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then up here, I have my Halloween Radon plates. I just um, stacked them in there. And then I have my two pumpkin spice mugs in there. 
And then over to the left, I just have a little pumpkin. I wanna get a little stand so it's propped up a little higher. My counters are still pretty bare. And I think I'm gonna put my cabinets back on. Um, I had mentioned a long time ago that I wanna take down this cabinet and put shelves up. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, random. Side note. Here I just have a trick-or-treat um, right on platter and I usually just put candy in these two things. These are from the Target Dollar Spot last year, but I know that they have, I don't know if the exact same ones, I know I saw the ghost, but I didn't, oh, the orange, the, um, the pumpkin is from the regular Halloween section. He was a little more expensive, but I know they have the um, little ones in the Dollar Spot. The pumpkin patch sign someone made for me, the tongs, another pair from the Dollar Tree, and up here, I just have my old muffin tin. I wrote eek up there. Um, that chevron pumpkin is from the Dollar Tree last year, and the mummy is from the store I work at. So I just have the totally not finished. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you can look at the picture from last year. I'm kind of going that route. Um, a little different, but similar. All right, guys, so that is my fall home decor tour. I want to thank Emily again for including me in this collaboration. I had a lot of fun filming this video, getting everything ready, and I am so excited to see everyone else's videos. I hope you go check everyone out who I linked down below. They are all so talented and way more talented than I am, that I could ever be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!